Hello everybody, this is Grant, your friendly OpenShift team member. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use GitHub webhooks. Even if you're using the great all-in-one virtual machine or the Red Hat CDK. Alright, so if you don't have a local OpenShift environment running on your machine, now's the time to get it up and running, ladies and gentlemen. So head on over to openshift.org vm or go to redhat.com and download the CDK. All right, so I'm going to be using the all-in-one today, and so I'm going to switch over to my terminal, and just before you start wondering, wait a second, Grant's using Windows? I normally see him using either Linux or OS X. Yep, that's right, I am using Windows 10 today, um, just to show everyone that the user experience is the same, regardless of the operating system that you choose to use for your development environments. Okay. So I already have the Vagrant file up and running. So to stand up my own OpenShift instance, all I have to do is run a Vagrant up command. And this is going to spin up the OpenShift all-in-one virtual machine and configure it for me. Um, I have allocated 16 gigs of RAM to my all-in-one image just because the machine I'm working on today has 32, so why not? Um, I am going to do this in real time, so no parlor tricks today. Um, so uh, one thing to note is on my uh, Vagrant machine here, we'll probably see an error message um, when it gets all uh, done just because of a SSH problem that I have going on right now. Um, but at the end of this, I will have a uh, OpenShift instance spun up locally. Okay, so now, now we should be good to start using it. So let me pop over to my browser here, and I'm going to go to HTTPS 10.2.28443, and I'm going to log in here as Ultrahook and use Ultrahook as the password. You can use anything you want. I'm going to create a new project, and I'm going to call this Ultrahook PHP, and we'll just call this Ultrahook PHP, and I'm going to click on Create. And then I'm going to select use PHP 5.6, but anything will work if you want to use Wildfly for Java EE based stuff. So I'm going to select PHP, and then I'm going to call this my ultra hook. And then I'm going to get a Git repository URL. This is just a simple PHP app. So I'm going to copy that uh, over, paste this in, and pow, Bob's your uncle. I now am using the source to image flow to clone that Git repository and it's going to uh, create a Docker image on the fly and then deploy it as a running container inside of a pod using Kubernetes. All right, so while that's going, let's pop over to Ultrahook and let me explain what this is. Ultrahook is a free service. You can sign up and create a namespace and get an API key and then it'll allow you to set up a proxy basically to accept external requests and then proxy that to an internal endpoint. And because the OpenShift CDK runs on 10.1.2.2 and the OpenShift All-in-One runs on the 10.2.2.2 private network addresses, that's not obviously accessible from the outside internet. So we need to use a tool, something like Ultrahook, in order to proxy those requests. Now, I already have an Ultrahook account and an API key. Again, it's very easy to sign up. Um, just, just do so. Okay, so here's the source code that we're going to be working with today. Uh, GitHub.com uh, slash gshipley slash simple PHP. And let's go back over and check on our uh, build here. We now have this application running. And here's the uh, addressable URL. Again, this is only available on my local network. So if I click that, we can see that this says this is the best PHP web app in the universe on OpenShift 3 on YouTube. Well, that doesn't make much sense, right? Um, so what we want to do is change this source code. So I'm going to go back to my uh, GitHub account here and I'm going to copy that repo URL and I am going to clone this repo. So let me just paste that in, clone it here, cd simple php and I'm going to vi this index.php file and I'm going to just remove this last bit here and we're going to save that. Now what we need to do is set up our ultra hook. So I switched over to a new terminal here. 
and I'm gonna say ultra hook and then I'm gonna just call this grant hook and then I need to paste in the internal URL that I want to proxy to so what I'm gonna do is go back to my OpenShift web console and I'm going to go to browse and builds and we can see I have one build running here I'm gonna click on configuration and over here is the github web UR, github webhook URL and as you can see it's on the 10.2.2.2 .2 which is private so I'm just gonna copy that um, and I'm gonna go back to my command line and I'm gonna paste that in so that's gonna create a webhook from grant hook over to this URL and then I'm gonna go on over to github click on settings on my project click on webhooks and I'm going to delete this webhook and I'm gonna click on to add a new one I gotta get the URL so let me go back over here and I called it grant hook so I can just say http colon slash slash grant hook dot open shift dot ultra hook dot com and all that's explained when you sign up for the ultra hook service and now anytime I do a push it's gonna create a build for me automatically in OpenShift. so let's go ahead and try that out I'm gonna commit my change here changed index and then I'm gonna push that let me authenticate to github type the wrong password in there okay so now that's gonna be pushed up to github and a new build is going to be created inside of OpenShift. And now let me go back to the main project page. And we can see, sure enough, that we have a new build. My Ultra Hook 2 is running. Bam! Look at that. Bob's your uncle. And it's already cloned the new repo. It's just pushing the image out. So let's go back to the overview page. And we're going to see this little deployment number change from 1 to 2. And so we'll give this just about 20 or 30 seconds for it to actually complete. Okay, it looks like the build is finished here, and uh, so now we you saw that nice rolling uh, deployment there. It created a second one, switched over the route, and so now we have our new application up and running, built automatically using a Git hook, even on my local machine. So let's check it out. Sure enough, we can see that we no longer have the YouTube here, and let's just scale this bad boy up to five just for fun. All right, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.